Canada's International Police Peace Operations Program is one of the most robust in the world. Since 1989, over 3,800 Canadian police officers from municipal, provincial, and national law enforcement agencies have worked in more than 66 peace operations in 33 countries. Their efforts support foreign countries experiencing conflict and instability to move toward peace and stability. In places like Ukraine, the West Bank, and Haiti, our police officers train and mentor local police. They help them develop programs to reduce violence, to fight organized crime, and to investigate sexual and gender-based violence. Canadian police are in high demand due to their expertise and capabilities. And our role in these operations continues to be flexible in order to meet the security needs of the host country. While on mission, police officers develop professionally and personally through opportunities they would not have at home. This experience not only benefits them and their police service, but it also impacts the communities and the people they serve in Canada. We've seen individuals who are in better position to uh, lead. Uh, their leadership skills have uh, have changed dramatically. They've had to deal with individuals from all different types of countries and specifically those individuals that they were, they were working with in missions. They learn from them how to do things and how not to do things. And so when they come back, they're in a better position to be able to deal with the specific challenges of policing in Canada uh, today. And they're also able to share those, uh, those skills with other police officers. The mission leur donne une ouverture sur les autres cultures, une tolérance à l'égard des valeurs et des façons de faire qui sont différentes de les nôtres. Ce n'est pas systématique, mais je constate une amélioration de différentes compétences de notre personnel. Entre autres, la gestion de soi, je parle de la création de partenariats, la prise de décision, le leadership qui se développe davantage. J'encourage les organisations policières qui ont la capacité de participer à des projets de mission de paix, de s'impliquer dans le partage de leurs ressources. Coming home, uh, you're a different person. Uh, you've overcome such uh, adversity. The growth was phenomenal, and I was able to bring that back here. But I think as a leader, as a communicator, as a networker, you learn so much. And, and this has changed the way that I go to work on a daily basis. I honestly think everyone who's heading into a managerial or supervisor or leadership position should do a mission. Given the opportunity, I would definitely go again. I wouldn't think twice about it. Um, I think there's still that I, a lot for me to learn and a lot for me to bring back to the Ottawa Police Service and as well the Ottawa community. Écoutez, mon côté personnel, je peux vous dire que autant avant qu'après tu deviens un meilleur policier et aussi une meilleure personne. Euh, on a tous un bagage. C'est tu côtoies des gens de tous les pays. Euh, tu, tu peux pas faire autre chose que d'apprendre. Alors, tu te nourris de tout ce que les gens font, tu prends tout et tu reviens ici une, un meilleur policier et aussi une meilleure personne. Que lorsque les gens vont faire le bien dans, sur la planète ou dans, un, dans une communauté quelconque, c'est parce que c'est inné chez eux. Et quand ils reviennent, ça se perd pas, ça. Ça, ça bouille en dans nous. Et c'est certain que ces gens-là vont appliquer les mêmes principes au retour. Participating on a mission serves as accelerated training. Police officers receive about two to three years of experience from a one-year deployment. Their responsibilities are often at a higher level than their duties at home, and they return to Canada with increased competencies and skills. My job here, like in forensics, I, I feel that much more stronger when I go about making decisions or even working, like being responsible for the unit while my boss is away. He will sort of let uh, a person, a more senior person, take charge while he's gone. So again, the roles in mission, where I was in charge there at certain times of the, during the mission, helped me take charge here. Donc j'étais la chef de l'équipe, si on peut dire, superviseur. J'avais huit personnes à ma charge, si on peut dire. Puis cette fonction-là m'a apporté d'autres responsabilités que je croyais pas non plus avoir en me rendant en mission, mais que j'ai pu développer. Puis je me suis rendu compte que j'avais peut-être un peu plus de, 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 comment je dirais, de leadership en moi, plus que j'aurais pu le penser. Mass murder scenes, I've had to process that, and then you come back here and deal with a homicide scene or a shooting. It's now that much easier because I've dealt with it on such a large scale with people with different languages, different backgrounds, and different uh, procedures and customs 
that all of a sudden uh, you realize how much easier it is to break a problem down and solve it back here. The experience Canadian police officers gain while working on a mission impacts how they work when they come home. They find unique ways to approach people who live in the communities they serve. They are more aware and understanding of cultural differences. The world that we live in today is different. Uh, our Canada is different and it is uh, made up of Canadians from all walks of life and from all different nationalities and by sending peace officers abroad to work with various communities uh, with cultural backgrounds that are different from what we're used to here in Canada, we enhance what policing skills we bring to our Canadian population. In Haiti, we know that the rhythm of life is not the rhythm of Montreal or the rhythm of our region. It's completely different. Being in contact with different countries from different countries creates des liens et permettent d'établir un réseau et de partager les bonnes pratiques policières qui, par la suite, peuvent être enrichissantes dans notre organisation. Une des choses que j'ai retenues du fait d'être allé en mission comme policier canadien et qu'on qu a développé là-bas et qui, qui va en rester au retour, c'est l'approche envers les différentes communautés. Travailler avec des gens de, qui ont des cultures différentes et de prendre le temps d'écouter et de voir les différences et puis de respecter ces différences-là sans changer notre façon d'opérer. De, de, I encourage anybody who wants to go on a mission. It, it takes you to a level of, an, another level of growth that I, I can't tell you in words. I think when you send officers to, when you allow officers to go on peacekeeping missions, I think uh, uh, you bring back a more integrated person who actually can give back more to their, their community. The experience and the level of learning and uh, the, uh, the, the return on investment for your home organization and for Canada, uh, it, it's, it, it's incredible. In any of the work internationally that I have done, I feel that I have brought home more and I have gained more than I've given. That wasn't what I set out for, but that's inevitably how I have felt. And my community here at home benefits from that when I come home. The gifts that we, that we give to our international community, we gain those dividends coming home. And they are in relationship building. They are in increased personal competencies. Living and working in another country offers a completely different perspective. Police officers learn about the local population and culture. They live by seeing and experiencing the reality of the host country. This experience makes Canadian police officers well-rounded and better able to understand and relate to the people they serve at home, bringing tremendous value to their police service. Participating in international peace operations is beneficial for police officers and their police services as it leads to safer homes and communities here in Canada. By deploying our Canadian police officers to address criminality in failed and fragile states, we can help limit the reach of certain crimes and prevent them from spreading to Canada. Keeping Canadians safe is the foundation of Canada's international policing efforts.